I knew Mark's, Mark's daddy. <laughs> uh, Lord, long story, but I'm so glad to see him. Yes, All right. Brother Ellison has been through a whole lot of stuff in his life, and we don't have enough time to go through all of that. But the good news is he just kept going. And every time he'd fall and get back up, God would help him again and again. But he got to a place where the Lord said, now come on, let's go this way. And God started using him, and he had a dream in his heart. And his, his dream was always he wanted to have his own men's home. So that the other men who had fallen and had, had trouble could come out and go forward. Today, the name of your home is Heart for People Reentry Program. The Heart for People Reentry Program. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people just need a second chance, just need another opportunity. And we give up on folk. But the Lord doesn't give up on you. God wants to. That Tidings has been involved in that behind the scenes, doing what we needed to do to help. But I'm so happy for him to say that uh, that house is now full of men. Yes. How many got it today? Uh, we have 10 men. Have 10 men there. Come on, give God praise. And uh, three of them are sitting in the back. And uh, three of those guys are here right now. Please stand if you're in that heart, in that, in that men's ministry. Please stand. Come on, give God praise for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, as I said a few moments ago, once you come to know the Lord, you need to find a church. You need to be in church. I want him to know that we are opening up the doors of Glad Tidings. We've been behind this ministry since it began, but we are opening the doors of Glad Tidings to welcome these men so that as they come to know the Lord, they come to live in this house to see God change their life. Many of these men have not had the opportunity to live like we lived for years, all right? But they're now getting that opportunity and we wanna make sure we do good with that opportunity, all right? You sent me a text yesterday and you said, um, uh, Bishop, we need transportation to start bringing these men to church. Did that come from you? Yes, sir. That came from you. All right, well, Lowry, please come stand with me on this side. This is uh, Elder Lowry. This man has worked in community service so long as a counselor, as, as, a, as a mentor for so many of us and so many programs that we've been a part of for many, many years. And it's only amazing. I mean, I started working with him before I started working with Brother Mark. We've been together a long, long time. Uh, he worked with Lady Macklin for a long time and uh, worked in that ministry when she was in social service work uh, here representing clergy in this county. And he's now working with this home. And I'm so thankful you could not have a better partner uh, than Elder Lowry. He's just a tremendous man of God. Now, here's what we're going to do. Watch it. We're getting ready to make a move. Glory. You missed it, didn't you? <laughs> y'all going to keep up with me. Y'all got to be on it. Praise the name of the Lord. Y'all y'all too slip. All right. Before you long, I'll be, on up, the, I'll be up the street. Put on some of my NBA moves on you. minister of this church I want to declare that from now on every Sunday morning we have a nice church van that's not being used right now specifically for this this is not our mobile unit that's another one that was out yesterday and they did a great job I think they led 40 some people to Christ <laughs> giving away food and clothing and everything else but we have another van that we have that the church owns I want that van released to go pick these men up every Sunday. I not, I not only want them to be at church, but I want them to be in a Bible study. All right? And when uh, the study of God's word, they'll be in worship, the study of God's word, and then I want to make sure that these men eat every Sunday before we send them back. So on Sundays, you can know if they come here, they're going to eat. Amen. All right? 
they stay at the house, they fasting. But I'm gonna tell you, they, we, ain't, we ain't sending we ain't sending food to folk that don't come. All right, we ain't, we ain't doing that. I got three that didn't come. God bless them. Listen, I'm just trying to tell you. All right, this is what we're gonna do. This. So I want to declare that now. Now that means that there's gonna be a great responsibility on the men of this church. I'm not sending ladies up in a van to go pick up men. Amen. I want every man that's in this church to stand up. Don't be, don't be slow getting up now. This ain't a good time to do that. All right? Brothers, we have to do what we have to do. Is that all right? This is our responsibility. This is our brothers. These are our brothers, and we have to be with them. We have to stick with them. All right? If you knew the percentage of men that have been incarcerated and then come out and have no place to turn to, no place to lift them up, no place to go forward. I was looking at what was going on in Memphis here this weekend, which had to be the biggest tragedy we've seen in a long time. And to, uh, to see that young man beat to death like that. And I said, God, help us here today. Praise the name of the Lord. There was no excuse for that. And, and the people that beat that man up, they hadn't been in the system. But God bless them if they go in now. All right. Um, that, that was terrible. There was no excuse for that. You don't, you don't have, I don't need no psychologist to try to explain to me what happened. That wasn't nothing but the devil. Mm, that's all that was. And we're not, we're not in support of nothing like that. That, we, that ain't the page we're on. All right, that, that young man should still be alive. All right, no reason for it. But it also says to you, that's not the only place that's going on. And we can't turn around and say, see what the white folk do to us? They weren't white, but they were full of the devil. Are you with me now? Well, that's the culture, that's the devil. And yes, the devil can get in the culture, but there was no excuse for that. All right? Um, so we must do what we must do. All right? And those that the Lord have blessed us, some of us have been in roads and down roads that we can't even tell nobody about. Sometimes it's not even good to talk about stuff that happened in the past and certainly not to glorify it. So we're going to do that. Our men's ministry had already made a decision way before this that they were going to go in a different direction and rename the men's ministry. And I want Brother Washington to come now and uh, bring what he has to announce that and to show what we, what we are here. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody come hold that up for him. So in line with uh, Brother Mark Sir, Ellison, right which is a good friend of mine, we've been talking uh, uh, since he's been here, and I've had an opportunity to share with him at some of his events uh, for the men. We, I have the same heart that he does for men. And we believe in no man left behind. Amen. Amen. So we, the men's department has changed their name. It, we prayed, we prayed all year to, to come up with a name that meant what we were about. This is our purpose. No man left behind. So we got some brand new T-shirts. They in the lobby. We want every man to purchase one. They're twenty dollars. We're gonna wear these on Men's Weekend next month. So you got to have this shirt. And on the back it says No Man Left Behind. And on the back it says GTI Men's Ministry. We didn't make this shirt to look pretty, even though, although it does. We, we made this shirt because this is what we believe. And in our men's weekend, we're making sure every brother that comes to the men's weekend Saturday and Sunday has to bring a young man with them. Because we are serious about God's business. Amen? Come on, somebody say, no man, no man. left behind. So, Brother Ellison, I say to you as we make this shift in ministry that we're going to partner with you as unto the Lord and Brother Lowry for the work that you all are doing. And uh, we want to begin sending that van there starting next Sunday. All right? Amen. To begin picking up the men at that location, yes. bringing them back here, ministering to them, letting them be in service. Amen, somebody? Amen. And I just believe that God is going to make 
a huge difference. I believe God. Anything else you want to say? Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Yes. It was Bishop Macklin, Ella Tucker, Ella Williams that put me me in the men's home here at Glad Tidings. I was in the men's home. Three years. That's when I asked God to give me that same zeal I had for the devil. Tell him, give me that same zeal for Jesus. And I was here, and I was Monday night prayer, busting the doors down, and Tuesday night Bible study, and Wednesday night with the men's group, Friday night Holy Ghost service to Ella McCulley, and join the choir, hallelujah. And I just thank God where he brought me from, because now he gave me the vision. For without the vision, the people will perish. And now I have our reentry home, men's home, heart for people that birthed out of Glad Tidings International. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for this brother Aaron. Brother Aaron is over there with us. Aaron has never been in that environment before. Oh, but God. Yes, he's been over there with us doing a great job and through Dr. Laurie and Oakland Job Resource Center. We didn't have a way to get to church this morning, so Dr. Laurie just happened to own his own limousine. <laughs> Hallelujah. He come by the men's house and picked up the men and put them in the limousine and brought them on out to the church. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I thank God for our leader, Bishop J.W. Macklin, because he poured into me. And I thank God for all the saints here that poured into me. I thank God for the prayer warriors, for the evangelism team, for the mass choir, uh, for pouring into me. And I'm just overwhelmed with what God is doing in our life. And, and we just want to stay connected to the vine. God bless. Bishop yeah. said I can come in my own way, so this is what I need you guys to do. We all together, we don't have to warm up. Praise God. Can you men stand up one more time? The brothers from the house and all you other brothers that just stood up, can you stand up and extend your hand towards these brothers? Let me say something real quick. God is using Bishop and Glad Tiding to break the curse on incarceration. I say to break the curse Amen. on incarceration. Amen. Amen. You know why? Because some of them need to be out, and like Bishop just spoke about, some of these others need to be in. Amen, somebody. Because what they did at their time was considered a heinous crime, and look what they're doing today. It's far beyond what these brothers are serving all this time for. Amen, somebody. So what I want you to do as you extend your hands, I'm just going to pray. And for the mothers that have someone that they're representing incarcerated, will you please stand and turn around and extend your hands towards these brothers? Because we all sometimes are involved in this incarceration thing. Amen. And we're going to just pray real quickly. Can we do that? Give an honor to God for Bishop, first of all. I got to give him, give him all the praise. I'm back home. Thank you, Bishop. Glory to God. Father, we thank you right now. We come as we yes, are. Yes, Lord. God, your children, God, yes, Lord. faithful, servants of you, God, and we thank you today, yes, Lord. God, for releasing these brothers from incarceration. Yes, Lord. Lord, send the rest of them home that don't deserve to be in there, God. Hallelujah. Lord, you know who they are. You know their hearts, God. Yes, Lord. God, you know Amen. more about them than we know about in them, the name God. Of Jesus. So we send the men and the women home, God, Hallelujah. and may they take the hand of the yes, next Lord. man. Yes, Lord. And we walk them through glory, God, right on into this church. Thank you, Jesus. Or they will find a church home in yes, the Lord. kingdom. They will become Hallelujah. kingdom citizens, God, 
from this day forward. So right now we come up against every hex, yes. vex, yes. spell of works, yes. witchcraft, yes. spell of envy and jealousy and strife, yes. the oh. demon killer yes, spirit, the spirit of drug use, drug trade, Thank you, alcoholism, yes. abandonment, yes, the spirit of beating of women and the spirit of all the adulterated, no good demons that would plague a man's mindset. God, and we, yes, we release him, God, right now in the spirit. In the God, and we Jesus. replace the, that empty space with the fruit of the spirit. Yes. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, faith, meekness, and temperance, God. Praise God. Involved in their life, everything that they need to do, God, to walk back into the righteous place as a man upon the earth, God. Hallelujah. Bringing them back to their families, Thank to you, their Jesus. children, God, to all the loved ones, Thank God. You. Bring them back to jobs that will buy homes yes, and restore our communities, God. Yes, Lord. We speak this by faith in these gentlemen's life today. Yes, in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord. I want everybody to clap your hands for Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hang on with me for just a moment. Where is Crystal Allen? Tell Crystal to come here for just a minute. Bring her in. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate it. All right, man. Thank you for allowing me. Thank you. 